Hello Wobblies! Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are making some damper bread in a Dutch oven. In the comments on one of our Dutch oven bread making videos, Liam expressed interest in not being able to find a simple Dutch oven bread recipe one that had very few ingredients and the ingredients didn't need to be refrigerated. The scenario being if you were in a bug out situation without electricity but you had a Dutch oven and some basic supplies that you would be able to make bread. So in keeping with Liam's scenario we're going to make damper. It is a simple ingredient Dutch oven bread or you can cook it directly over the coals. Damper bread has an Australian origin. It was used by the early English Bushmen in their nomadic travels across Australia. Because it's been too windy outside to do this and do it safely, we're moving inside and doing it in the fireplace. My concerns are that I won't be able to adequately show you some of the things like checking in on the bread because it's a small space and it's going to be awkward for me to open it up. I'll do the best I can. And I also added about a tablespoon of ghee. No, it's gay. No. If baking this recipe in an oven, you would bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 
In the Dutch oven, I broke it up into two sets of 15 minutes, opening it up and looking at quickly at the 15 minute mark. At each seven and a half ish minute mark, I was turning the top of the lid one quarter turn. a better film than I did before. So at 30 minutes of cooking, the inside was still quite doughy, it wasn't cooked at all. And you can kind of tell where that area was because it's just a different texture looking. So we cooked it for another 15 minutes with more coals underneath and more coals on top. And it seems to have done much better. Outside is wonderfully crust 
crusty and fun to eat. Let's try a piece out of the doughy center and see for sure if it's done. It's quite crumbly. Yes, it's done. Done, it's done, it's done. Oh, that's good. I learned some things in making this bread. One is instead of making it a round ball and putting the round ball in the Dutch oven, that it'd probably be better to flatten it out a little, make it more disc shaped. That might work better. The bread came out amazing after 45 minutes. At 30 minutes, it wasn't done enough at all. So it needed at least another 15 minutes and that turned out to be about right. And the bread is heavy. It is not a light fluffy bread. It is a good stick to your ribs meal all its own. So to Liam, thank you very much for your comment. I hope that this video has brought you a recipe that will work for what you have in mind. And I hope for all our viewers, the same. I'm super happy to have learned about damper bread. It's easier than the previous Dutch oven bread that I had tried to make. And for that reason, I think this will be our go-to next time we cook in the Dutch oven. Down in the comments, let us know what you think. And thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time. And another. <laughs> Yay.